Hi guys, it's Kristen. Thank you so much for joining me for another video. Welcome back or welcome if you're new. Today we're going to be doing a Chimmy eyewear review. Um, Chimmy is a brand that's based in Sweden. If you've never heard of them, they're really impressive with the types of things they're doing um, and the materials they're using for the prices that they're offering. So um, I really hope you'll enjoy this. Let's get started. So first of all, they come in this really sturdy, and I mean really sturdy cardboard storage box. They're going with white here, and as you'll see, we've got some a very similar theme inside, but they obviously want to keep it very simple and minimalistic. So we've got that kind of approach or aesthetic going on, which is really nice. Um, and inside here, you have your, uh, your case, and then there's a card at the bottom, which is very simple, just a little bit of print that talks about um, where to find the website, but it's very, again, very sleek, and it's not too, like, loud. I love the packaging with this. So the case is a, a, a white, probably polyurethane, sort of like PVC, uh, Saffiano textured situation. Do I love the fact that the case is white? Not really. Um, only because if this is going to be floating in a handbag, it's probably going to attract everything bad in the world. It would probably be fairly easy to wipe down, but it'd probably get banged up pretty quickly. I don't know. But it does go really well with the aesthetic. So, you know, I can't fault them on that. It also is a really sturdy clamshell case, which you don't often get with glasses that are this affordable. So no complaints there, really. I just complained and said no complaints, but we'll skip over that. Inside, the glasses are in a microfiber uh, pouch, which is, again, white. And then you're going to love this. The cleaning cloth is a little bit unique. Again, it's white. So uh, let's get into the glasses here. <sighs> Beautiful. So this is the Chimmy Core Collection model number 008. So in the Core Collection, they go by numbers. I think eight is as high as it goes, and this is the last model. Um, it is a 54 millimeter lens width. On the right temple, I don't know if you can see it, but it says colorful shades for colorful people. And then at the bottom, it's stamped with Chimmy. And on the other side, you've got your 008, 54 millimeter uh, lens width with 22 millimeter bridge and then um, designed in Sweden is on the other temple tip there. So these are Mazzucchelli acetate and um, German OBE riveted hinges. Hopefully that my camera's picking this up, otherwise this is gonna be embarrassing. But what I love here is that the rivets you see on the outside are actually connected from the inside. So when they screwed, I think when they screwed these hinges in here, it secured the, the rivets on the outside. So they're not superficial, just like stuck on, which means a lot. And hopefully they will last a really, really long time. Everything feels very high quality, um, just in terms of those. But let's talk about the frame. This is a, I'm trying to hold it um, in a way that you can sort of see the chunkiness of it. I'm sure you've already seen it, but it is a very chunky frame and it has a very substantial weight to it. I would probably label this heavy. Um, I don't detract points for that because I love it. It shows craftsmanship to me, but um, you might find these to be a little bit on the heavier side. I'm going to go ahead and put these on my face here so you can see a little bit more. Um, so the size is perfect for me. Um, absolutely love the bridge width as well. I always love a bridge. It's like 20 or over. I feel it's just the most comfortable and it re the glasses usually rest where they should when the bridge is about 20. Um, and I love, again, the shape, but I think these are the type of glasses that are going to be a little bit oversized on anybody. Um, so even if you feel like you've got a larger face, you, you're going to still be able to pull off this oversized dramatic look, which is really um, a good thing about this model. I think I was struggling between this one and one other. I think the 006 or I'm not exactly sure. I'll put it down below because I think it's a beautiful shape as well, but it just looks like it's a little bit narrow. Maybe you want to take the chance on it because it is a beautiful and uniquely shaped frame. 
but um, this one is a great all-purpose look. I think that you would get a lot of questions about where these are from. I think it's a timeless shape. It's not really going to go out of style. So the unique thing about Chimmy is the fact that they offer, the color range is really um, a lot of transparents. So I think it started out as like your gray, pink, like light blue, yellow, and they have options to have transparent lenses as well to match the frame. So that was something unique that not a lot of people were doing, but was becoming really popular um, over in Europe and in the Scandinavian countries as well. So they probably decided to just jump on that. And then before too long, they added some classic colors like black, tortoise, and um, even like a dark gray, which is really pretty. I'm going to link it down below as well. I really struggled between the gray and this one. So this color um, is obviously a light brown. I would describe it even as like a caramel or like a cinnamon color. Um, and then the lenses in these are like the, the just smoke gray. It's a solid gray lens. In some lights, again, it does look a little bit purplish, especially if, if I'm looking at myself in indoor lighting. Yes, I sometimes do that. <laughs> Admit it, we all do it. Um, but other than that, it does appear to be a true solid gray. Um, it's really nice to look out of, of course. Um, I think that in terms of with this frame, the mirrored lens that they offer or the, the transparent lens might complement this a little bit better, but I went for the solid lens because that's what I like looking out of better. Um, so this color frame, I'm not sure if it really, um, if it does me any favors, just let me know what you think in the comments below because I'm really struggling with it. How many times have I said struggling? Um, I guess that's the favorite word of the day, but I think it's a beautiful color. Some people look better in it than others, and the people that were blonde I saw in this this color seem to maybe look better than I feel in it. So just um, share your thoughts. I don't know if maybe I should opt for another color or something, but it is truly beautiful. It's a little bit more orangey than I thought it would be, but um, you can be the judge of that. So um, these are made in China. I thought I would mention that really quick. I found that out by watching their stories on their Instagram where they go to China and kind of show the manufacturing process or inside the facility and all that, which is really cool. They're really um, transparent about it. And I thought I would mention it just in case it bothers anybody. Um, I'm only, I try to avoid shopping with, um, brands that use China as a manufacturer in a really cheap way, like they are they have nothing to do with their process at all. They're just getting it as cheap as possible so that you can sell it and make a buck and they don't care what kind of junk you're left with. That's what I have a problem with and I feel like that's probably like, I don't know, 80 to 90% of the stuff made in China. This, I feel like Chimmy does not fall in that 90%. I feel like they fall in the 10% of people that really have high standard for standards for their manufacturing process. So I don't see um, any cons, uh, about these being manufactured there. Another thing is these are $99 full price. Okay. And on their website, you can get a 10% discount code shop bopper frequently, um, running sales. They're on sale on like black Friday, cyber Monday. Then sometimes they have a spring sale. Glasses can go as low as like $69. So they're really affordable. And if they weren't manufacturing in China, if they actually tried to manufacture in their own country, it would probably, they'd probably at least need to be two to three hundred dollars. So I feel like that's one of the main reasons they're able to offer them at this price, and I appreciate that. So the last thing I wanted to mention is that um, this is a wide frame, uh, naturally, and they are wide set, but for some reason, when I'm wearing them, it is really heavy back here. Um, it's a good fit here. It's not pinching, but it's just heavy behind the ears. And I have worn these around um, the house a little bit, and they are, I don't seem to be able to get used to that as much as I thought I would. Um, and the heaviness is probably just from the acetate. It, like I say again, they are a really thick frame, and they are flipping beautiful. But, um, you know, if you're sensitive to weight and all that, and you're used to lighter weight glasses, like injected, you know, frames and all that, then this might be a little bit of a shock to the face. But, you know, other than that, I can't think of anything that I don't like about them. They are so beautiful. They're just a stunning pair of glasses, honestly. Also, they now have a labs collection, or it's called uh, Chimmy Labs. And um, there are some beautiful models in there as well, some really um, oversized, glamorous models. So if this is you, you might want to head on over there. So I really hope that you enjoyed this review. Please let me know what you think. Um, 
I'm constantly striving to try to share more information or, or um, be more specific on things that you want to know more about. So let me know and um, I'll see you next time. Bye. Is that good? I need hairspray. Why, why don't I have any hairspray? It's 2020. Come on, Kristen. Okay. Okay. <sighs> okay, stop, stop it.